Ring. What is the moment of inertia i? It's integral of r squared dm. So you pick a dm, and you find its distance from the axis. Now, the axis, of course, here, we're interested in this, an axis through the center of mass, an axis which is perpendicular to the ring through the center of mass. So if I pick any dm, like here, what is the mass? Suppose the total mass is m, and the radius of the ring is r. So what is the mass per unit length, lambda? It's the mass divided by the total length, which is 2 pi r. That's the mass per unit length. So if I take a dm, this dm has a length, lambda, times r d theta, if you like. So you can say dm is lambda times the length of this piece. And the length of this piece is the radius times the angle d theta. Remember, this angle is infinitesimal because this is infinitesimal. So dm is lambda times r d theta. So lambda r, all right, and or let's put for lambda, or from here, lambda r is just m over 2 pi. So lambda r is just m over 2 pi d theta. This is dm. What is r square? It's just the radius square, because r, the distance, is just the radius. So this little r square is just big r square. So i is just r square dm, which is m over 2 pi d theta. Everything is constant. So it's just integration over d theta. From 0 to pi over, from 0 to 2 pi for the ring. So it's just 2 pi. So r square m over 2 pi, 2 pi. So just m r square. I did it this way, in fact, intentionally, because normally that's not how I would do it. I would do it much faster. But I just went through this writing in terms of lambda and, and finding dm in terms of the length and so on, and integrating with theta. Usually, what one would, if you have a little bit more experience, what you would say here is that i is integral r squared dm. So this is dm. You don't need to express it in terms of d theta and all, all this stuff, lambda and whatever. So i is just r squared dm. But r is a distance from the axis, which is, that is here, so so from the center to the m, and how much? So how much is r? It's just the radius itself. So r squared is just the radius squared, which is a constant. So this is just r squared dm. So r squared dm. Now you're just integrating dm. So how do you, what the, what's the meaning of integrating dm? So you, you're dividing this ring into infinitely many pieces: dm1, dm2, dm3, up to dmn, where n is very large. And then the integral dm means add them up. So add dm1 plus dm2 plus. So you, you're, you're dividing the ring into many pieces, and then you're adding the masses of the pieces, one by one. So what do you get? The total mass of the ring. Okay. If you cut the ring into million pieces, and then just add the masses of those million pieces, what will you get? The mass of the ring. So it's just the mass of the ring. So it's just m r squared.